Hello dear, it's Ajiba Delua here. I welcome us to another session of tutorial today right here on my YouTube channel. Okay, it's so good to have you back here on my YouTube channel and share graphic. So if you are new to this channel, if this is your first time of reaching this channel and share graphic, I would like you to take a seconds and smash the subscribe button yes you have to do that don't only smash subscribe button but also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified when new videos are being uploaded and trust me you don't want to miss this season because i'm going to be uploading the videos you're going to be needing for time per season as a graphic designer so you definitely have to what's it called subscribe first and smash the subscribe button yeah and smash the notification bell okay so as you have here on my screen today I'm going to walk you through the process of the seven ultimate principles of graphic design yes I know that we've heard a lot of principles um, we've been taught by several coaches and rest but I'm bringing to your notice a seven ultimate principles that on my designs of which you have you guys have seen me use several times so in the next few minutes we're just going to be walking through the process together because one thing you need to understand is that yes as a graphic designer you cannot bypass the principles so it is very important that you pay attention to the principles of design so that's why i had to what's it called i dropped a poll sometimes last two weeks on okay what do you want to draw and some persons reached out and said they need to know the principles so the principles of design is as important as you designing itself so let's dive in let's dive in by the end of this tutorial you will understand the mistakes you've been making in your design because the basis is what you need to scale through in anything you do so the principles is the first step you need to create stunning amazing designs yeah i know you have been um you have been awed by the amazing designs i put here that is the tutorials and you'll be like oh because of one thing which is the principle so let's dive in together so now I'm just going to do this. So the first principle I have on my um I have here is emphasis. So emphasis can also be um um laid as hierarchy. Now from the definition here, you can understand that emphasis is when you organize the information on your design, then lay out your design in a way that communicates that order. So he, now I'm going to um, drop an image. We're going to be looking at an image that that uh that describes this definition. So from the definition, you understand that okay, from the word emphasis, which means that you are you are laying you are laying um um emphasis. I don't want to use the word emphasis. That means you are laying um what's the word now? You are laying structure. You are laying importance. Yes, you are laying importance on a particular element. So it says here that this is when you organize the information and then lay out your design in a way that communicates that order. So. For example, now from the word here, emphasis. Now from this word, you can see that I paid attention to emphasis. That is this word that I can move up here. You can see that I paid attention to it. Then the next one is the this is that is the definition. So from the word emphasis, now you now understand that okay, this guy wants to pay wants me to look at the emphasis first then now he wants me to now look at the definition so that is what it it simply means now let me use a shape for example now if i do this and let me make it so if i do something like this then i copy this out and and i copy this as and does was equal to something like this so you're looking at this you're looking at this 
you what do you first see definitely you you can see the first shape that is this big shape that is what emphasis does so i laid emphasis on this so in a design now let's let's check out a design a design that i worked on a design that i've seen and okay so we have this design right so from this design you will notice that um i laid emphasis on this particular on this okay now let me change the color on this text effect so from this text effect you know what's it called even in the text effect you will notice that i paid attention to the redemption first so i laid emphasis on the redemption because we want you to understand that the the message is all about redemption so this is what emphasis does right so uh we're going to be using this okay so this is it so this then other text followed right so from this let's hide this and go to the next principle i believe that you now understand what the word emphasis is so now the next principle is balance and alignment so we have balance and alignment here yeah? so we have balance and alignment now from the first definition it says that what alignment is the placement of visual elements so they line up in a proper way alignment is also used to organize your elements to group elements and also create that balance so in every design you have to understand that if your design is not aligned you will struggle now this is it now if you notice i made use of what i um of what's it called of the center alignment here yes i made I made this of the center alignment here yeah. so you can see that all these are center aligned so you can see that it gives me that structure so when you look at that design you know that it follows that order okay this is aligned centrally so now when you look at this design you know okay okay so um this is properly aligned now look at this that's why with the help of your grid tool you can now understand that okay yes okay so he paid attention to his alignment properly now looking at this design again that we have here you will notice that i paid attention to what's called alignment if you notice that some elements are placed in the center which is what i paid i'm working with the center alignment do you understand so from this design you now understand that okay this is a center alignment you can see the text the mystery of of what's it called of time redemption you can see that all information are placed at the center do you understand let me check another design okay so if you look at this design if you notice that look at um this place um so you can see that i paid attention to the left alignments here so you you should know that there are different kind of alignment we have the center alignments we have the um you have this um center alignment we have the left alignment and we also have the right alignment so if you can see that i i started look at this grid tool here you can see that i started and i worked with an alignment pattern you can see that from here you can see that it followed that sequence so this is what alignment helps you do do you understand so this design now if it wasn't aligned for example if i decide that okay i fall from the test effect free course then i came here learned the exact and i brought it here your eyes will be scattered so alignment brings up that balance and this takes us to what's it called to the next what's it called it says here that we have um two types of balance right so we have the symmetrical balance and we have the asymmetrical balance so the symmetrical balance is what's it called it creates a balance through equally weighted elements aligned on either side of a center line so what this means is that um um you are creating a balance um center in the center that is for example now um let's use a shape for example so we have two shapes we have this shape here and we also have this shape here so it says here that was it called you create 
a what's it called a balance true equally weighted so these elements are weighted equally right so it says align on either side of the center this is a center line so i aligned both of them at the center so this is what it creates a what's it called a symmetrical balance so a symmetrical balance it said uses opposite weights like contrasting one large element with several smaller elements so for example i do something like this and I just place it here and I do something like this and just place it somewhere here so this is what asymmetrical balance does he said um it was going to use this opposite way like contrasting one large element with several smaller elements to create a composition but that is not even you say but still has that equilibrium so looking at this you will see you will notice that okay I put this here and I put this here you will notice that it still has that was it called that balance so that is what um asymmetrical balance is all about right so now let's move on to the next let's move on to the next which is what contrast so what contrast does contrast creates space and difference between elements in your design for example there's a lot of contrast in text contrast in shape contrast in fonts and contrast in everything so you need to what's it called pay attention to this so for example i want to what's it called okay let's look at what we have here now look at this text i said contrast creates space and difference between elements now look at this text I wanted to create a contrast between the the what's it called the rest of the text that is the space in the text and the rest of the text. So what did I do? I had to what's it called pay attention to contrast in color so that it becomes different from the rest of the of the text in that particular text. So what you can do is that for example, you have a lot of text. So now imagine if I made this white also, um, it would have been okay. If I made this white, you would have known, you would have seen the what's it called the contrast because it is actually bolder. So this is contrast um in size. I made this more bold. Okay, let me just tap back. So I made this more bold. Then what's it called? Change the font width of this and made it smaller. So you can see that there's a contrast in in size here. Do you understand? So this is a contrast in size. So now, for example, I was it called? I have um um. Uh, let's return this back. So now, for example, I have shape this shape. So I want to create a contrast in shape now. So and I copy this and was it called? And I do this. So you can see that this also contrast in shape. So now you can see that oh, you are seeing this one first, and you are, it's just like emphasis. Can you see now that all the principles plays um, the work hand in hand? So you can see that this contrast actually works like the way the emphasis works. It's just that emphasis was called laying importance on that. So contrast helps you to what's called to create that difference in elements. So for example, I want to what's it called create a contrast between I want to put a text on this on this um, shape. I will not go ahead and put probably uh let's assume I put white on white. You can see that the contrast is not enough. But what if I add a a black what if I add a black? You can see that the contrast, so the contrast makes it more visible. Okay, imagine if I now use something like a, a pink. That's when you will now see that, oh, the contrast is not enough. Look at, if I use this color, you can see that you are struggling. You are struggling to see the text. You can see, you are struggling. So this is what contrast is all about. You have to what's it called? Pay attention to your contrast. I believe you are following. I believe you are following. If you are following, just type I'm following in the comment section. So now, this is what contrast is all about. So now, um, we have this. And look at this. Now, you can see the background. The contrast between this text and the background is enough. Imagine if I decide that, okay, I want to make use of the same color I use for the background. Or this you can see that the contrast is not enough 
So this is what contrast. So this is contrast between color. So contrast works in size and works in text in everything you do. Contrast works. So I believe you understand that definitely. So now let's move on to the next, which is repetition. Repetition is kind of easy also. So this is simply when you limit yourself to two strong typefaces and or three strong colors. So for example. If you notice that you didn't see purple in this design, you are seeing um, yellow, you are seeing white, and you are seeing another shade of green. Do you understand? So this is what repetition does. For example, if you notice that I'm using the same typeface, typeface that is a font family. I believe you understand that. So this is name of the font. I used a particular font, and this is um the bold font and i'm making use of the regular so repetition helps you towards you instead of using um a lot of fonts in your design you can repeat the same font family but you are adjusting the weights for example i used noemi font here and if i now decide to use montserrat here and i'll come here again and use what's it called poppins you will notice that you will just notice that you the the audience is struggling to understand what you are doing because of you are not what you call paying attention to repetition so repetition helps your design to also be balanced so you need to what's called pay attention to this so this is what repetition does you say according to definition this is simply where you limit yourself so limiting yourself does not mean that your design is limited so it's just bringing that structure in your design so that is what repetition does i believe you understand already so going to the next and which is proportion so proportion is the visual size and weight of elements in a composition and how they relate to each other he said it often helps to approach your design in sections instead of as a whole it's the same thing as balance and alignment now proportion works with balance it's just like it says that it's the visual size so for example i was called i have this shape here yeah? This shape is big. I copy this and and I make this small. So proportion gives you that what's called visual size. Then I copy this and make this more smaller. You can see that my design is becoming more organized. You are first seeing this, then you go to your eyes, just what's good, just follows that pattern. Oh, from this to this to this. Do you understand? I copy this again. And makes it more smaller you can see that your eyes is structured in that way so this is what proportion does it helps you towards you go to manage your elements in such a way that it is appealing to what's it called um to your um to the audience for example now if i decide that okay i want to just make everything bold okay now i now copy this okay now i copy this then i make it bold i copy this make it bold copy this and make it bold you will notice that you are seeing everything as one but if i decide to make this small then i decide to make this one smaller in this same order if i decide to do something like this then i now make this small you know that your eyes is what's it called okay you are seeing once you see this once you see this you are seeing this you are seeing this you are seeing so this is what proportion does right so proportion helps your design towards you call to be communicated effectively so moving to the next which is movement second to the last yeah so movement 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 is controlling the elements in a composition so that the eye is led to move from one to the next and the information is properly communicated to your audience just like what i said in proportion it is movement so for example you want your eyes the eyes of your audience to move you don't want your audience to see your dates first and later okay now let's use this design as a practical example now looking at movement now i started with the text effect then you understand that i moved my audience out from this to this to this and to the rest of the elements in the design so i did not was equal to scatter the elements in such a way that oh my my audience is struggling towards the code for example okay let's get another design so that we was record we see um what this is about properly so for example we have 
we have this design right we have this design so now if you notice that you are seeing the um the team you are seeing the what's called the the date and the time so now you can see the movement so now first things first what you see is the moment of encounter now you can now see the image then you can see okay um okay if i want to connect okay i can know it i'm connecting on mixelar then you can always go see the okay you can see the dates you can see the time that is what movement also you are carefully moving your audience eyes from how they should move you are not making everything too big you are laying emphasis on this and you are allowing your audience to move from one particular element in your design to the other can you see how this works so this is how it works then lastly we have our white space and negative space although we just recording space so i want you to understand today that white space is not negative space right so now white space is simply when you make your design breathe this is giving room for all necessary elements that are needed in your design to find expression for example look at this uh, so for example i have this let me get uh what's the word the okay so i just want to do do something here so now this is an example of white space oh no not black let's just make something contrasting enough or maybe white so you can see so you can see that there's enough white space here you can see that from here you can see you can see so these are white space so these are the space inten intentionally left by the designer towards the code so make sure that your design is breathing do you understand so this is an example so white space does not necessarily have to be white do you get it does not necessarily have to be white so this is um you can see this is an example of white space is a space intentionally left in the design towards you call to make all other elements breathe properly that is what white space does so if you notice in my designs you have been noticing that pattern look at this design also you can see that you can see that this place oh not place yeah you can see that these spaces are intentionally left by the designer you can see all this space all this space you can see it you can see so it helps other elements to get balanced properly can you see can you see enough white space so when your white space is intact it gives that leverage it makes your design to be very much structured so now what is now negative space so now negative space is the space between or around elements in a design so now i know you, you might you you have been taught don't worry it's but it's not bad i know you have been taught that oh okay uh white space is negative space i, I was also taught that way too so now this is it so now this is when you are what's it called it is it is often used in logo design yes or or proper manipulation that is when for example now this shape the designer wants to what's it called um create something from this for example he wants to create um let's say let me get something else and negative space then I'm just going to do something like this. And I'm going to what's it called? Let me work with the background color. I'm coming. So we have this. Now you can see. So this is what is an example of negative space. So now what the designer does that he wants you to what's it called wants your eyes to or to pay attention that okay this is a circle with a thunderbolt that is he wants to make sure that okay that this is what's it called it is like it is creating um a meaning out of a meaning that is creating um making sure that um your that particular element has a meaning in it you will notice that in um some logos 
for example like um the panda logo there's a particular brand that's panda um i couldn't get the image here sorry about that so but this is this is a clear example of what negative space is so it is um making sure that there's a space in between and what's it got to define a meaning so now from this you understand okay um so after now you can just check and you see negative space how they were able to what's it called it is a meaning in a meaning now what i mean is that you'll be looking at it literally and you say okay this is something for example this is a house but inside that house there's another definition that is being depicted in that image so that is what this is all about don't worry in subsequent videos i will get to show us more about that okay so thank you for staying to the end now this lastly a design doesn't have to strictly follow the rules to be good some absolutely mind-blowing designs ignore one or more of the principles of design in order to create an eye-catching and effective work i wanted to understand that um paying attention to the design is the beginning that is to the principles of design is the beginning but you don't have to get limited it is just a structure that has been put to help every designer know what they are doing so if you can understand each and every of these principles you are able to what's it called create and be able to manipulate having the principle in front of your mind do you understand so this is basically what this means so don't get limited by the principles once you have the principles in your mind you can now what's it called manipulate that principle to favor you do you understand so i believe we've learned a whole lot now you don't want to watch this amazing stunning tutorial alone you want to share it with your designer friends so like smash the subscribe button now and share start sharing copy the link and share thank you so much for staying to the end see you in the next video tutorial god bless you thank you for your time subscribe